What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create this light streak effect that you can apply to your images using actions. And I'll show you guys in today's tutorial how to create an action to do this. And it's very easy and basic. On my previous video, I showed you guys how to use the actions and I would really suggest you guys check that video out first and then come here so you guys get a feel, a look and feel for how to use the actions. So before we begin, I want to go ahead and give a huge thanks over at Graphic Stock for making this video possible. If you guys don't know what Graphic Stock is, Graphic Stock is a, a, a subscri subscription based stock graphics site that gives you unlimited access to graphics, vectors, and icons. You guys have access to unlimited downloads of over 250,000 graphics and everything is 100% royalty free. You guys can start a 7 day free trial. I post a link for that in the description and you guys can also download up to 140 graphics from the library during the trial so you guys have plenty of time to do so. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin with the tutorial. Guys so to do this simply we're going to go ahead and go over to the window and go to actions and if you guys don't have the actions window open so if you see this little triangle uh, you click on that and it's going to bring up the actions window. If you guys don't have that go to window and go to actions make sure there's a check mark next to actions. When you have that open, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a new action. Uh, new action. So click this little button here, and it looks like a sticky note. You click on that, and it's gonna bring up a new window saying to put in a new name. For, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in a uh, light streak for the sake of this tutorial, and then click record. So now what you're telling Photoshop is everything you do in Photoshop it will record. So say you were to bring out the brush and you start painting, it will add a new little step right here. Just like the history, pretty much. It's recording the history in other words. So everything you do in Photoshop, it's going to record it. So now once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have our background or our layer selected. It doesn't matter if it's locked or not. So go over to layer and then go to uh, new adjustment layer and go to curves. And a new window is going to come up. It's going to say new layer, give it a name. I'm going to just keep it how it is and click OK. Once you've done that, we'd go ahead and change the value for this. So right here on our line, we're going to go ahead and click and drag this downwards right here. And then around here, we're going to go ahead and click and drag this upwards just like so. So it should look like a, like a S type. Uh, just try to make it look similar to this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and minimize the curves. We're going to go ahead and add a gradient fill. So go over to layer and then go to new fill layer and gradient. Give it a new name, click OK, and then it's going to look like this. So where it says next to gradient, there's going to be a box. Click on that, and then right here, there's going to be a little black box. Click on that, and then click the little box next to, next to color, and then the color picker is going to come up. We're going to go ahead and put in our own code. So in the little hex code, we're going to go ahead and change that to, um, we're going to change that to FC2C2C. So it should look red. It should be red. And then I click OK. And then don't mess with any of these or don't click on any of these. Uh, it should be red to transparent. Click OK. And then the style should be linear. Uh, it should be set to linear. Angle, change that to negative 100. And keep everything the same. Scale 100%. Align with layer. Just click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and change the blending mode to screen. So select screen. Change the opacity to 90%. Uh, so just click the down arrow and just move the slider over to the left to decrease that to 90% and that way the effect won't be too harsh. Now we're going to go ahead and hold down command or, or, or control and click our layer right here. Now we're going to go ahead and group this so to do that simply press command G or control G to group them uh, and then it's going to uh, name it as group 1. We're going to go ahead and change that so we're going to click or double click on our group 1 change that to effects or whatever you want and then go back to our window the actions window and it should uh, be on record right here now I'm gonna click the little stop a little square and click on that now it uh, we finished the recording so everything stopped whatever you do in Photoshop it, uh, Photoshop won't record it anymore and then we have now successfully created an action so if we look in the light streak little action here and we click the little triangle next to it you will see everything that we have done in Photoshop to create this effect and that way if you want to apply this to another image you don't have to do this over again so all you have to do is go over to the window or window and then go to actions if you don't have the actions window open so you can just click this right here 
select the light streak. Make sure when you select it, you don't select this, but you select the actual little folder here uh, or the action. And then all you have to do is click play. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this. For example, this image here of a parrot. So I wanna apply this the same effect without doing it over again. I go over to the little play button here um, or the little actions button and then select the action we've created, light streak, and then click play. And then we have now applied the effect in a matter of seconds. So this is pretty much how to create the action. And if you guys want more tutorials like this, then please leave a comment below, leave a rating below as well. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, stay classy. Peace out.